Hello everyone, I am Crawlers and when is a bug not a bug? Well, it's when it's a frostbite feature, of course. Now, keep in mind I might be talking out of my ass just as well, but something came to me yesterday as I was uh, making a video about the uh, patch changes for Hardline and the as yet not fixed reload bug which follows the Battlefield games since Battlefield 3, I believe. And uh, I was talking about this reload bug and ranting on it just as usual, you know, joining dozens of other YouTubers on here just uh, mindlessly calling it a bug. Hey, I, I've even heard Level Cap call it a bug a dozen times throughout the videos on uh, Battlefield 4 and F f uh, you know, hardline, and, well, something suddenly hit me. What if this isn't actually a bug? What if it's a feature built into the game engine that just acts like a bug at times because it uh, does something we don't expect it to? You know, we think of it as a bug, but it's not really. Now, uh, what is the reload bug that I'm talking about here? Some people um, left me comments saying that they never experienced that, and, and uh, I find it extremely hard to believe because it, uh, you know, was here for years, and in Hardline it's literally every other reload that it happens to me. So, the reload bug, as we call it, is basically uh, when you run out of ammo, as usual, or are about to run out of ammo, uh, have to reload, press the reload button, uh, see the animation play, and wind up with the same number of bullets in the mag as after the animation uh, finishes as before. So, sometimes you swap weapons or something like um, throw a med kit or a grenade after the reload, and what happens is, um, well, I think you already figured out what I'm gonna say. I think the reload bug is actually not a bug at all, as I said, but a broken feature of the uh, Frostbite engine. And this is so damn obvious that right now that I think about it, I wonder why it didn't occur to me earlier, because, uh, well, every gun in the Frostbite game has three reload times, right? Which you can see here in a convenient graphic from Simthic. Um, this is just uh, a sample, by the way, but the idea applies to every gun. So, uh, the reload times are the short reload, the time it takes to pop just a new mag into the gun when it didn't run out of the last bullet, uh, the full reload time when you have to not only swap a new mag but also uh, charge the cocking handle to get the first round in, and there's also the reload threshold. Now, uh, you'll notice that this number has an X next to it, which is what started all this uh, and put the idea into my head in the first place. What I understand it to be is a multiplier of a reload time, just like the first shot multiplier is a uh, number that multiplies the vertical recoil stat, so is the reload threshold multiplier uh, mo a number that multiplies the reload time, I think. And uh, to my understanding, the uh, um, reload threshold multiplier uh, works like this. It's a number that's uh, multiplied by your reload time that gives you a time before you, uh, after you've started the reload animation, before the bullet count in the game actually updates, as I said. So, let's say your reload threshold is 0 0.75 and your reload time is 4 seconds. Well, then the reload threshold would come out to be uh, 3 seconds, and that's the time it would take for your bullet count to actually update after you've started reloading. So this value, uh, this multiplier, uh, or this value after you figured it out and multiplied it by the reload time, represents the time period after you started the reload, and before you are able to switch guns or gadgets, that is before the ammo count is updated in the game world and the new amount of bullets appear. Now keep in mind here that 
these are two different things here. Uh, the animation is just for your eyes and has nothing to do with the actual bullet count in the game, which, for the sake of the game, uh, for the, the game engine, is just a number. So, uh, literally, the number has to update in order for you to have new bullets in the gun, uh, regardless of what the animation does. And, you know, this time value represents the time it, uh, it takes in the game world after uh, which the ammo count updates. So, literally, the on-screen animation doesn't represent when uh, that happens sometimes, and it doesn't sync up, for one reason or another, with the in-game bullet count. You know, one such instance, for example, is when you uh, start re a reload and then vote over something in Battlefield. Well, as you're voting, the reload animation stops, right? And the voting animation begins, because you can't have... Uh, two at the same time, but the reload time is still running, so your bullet count gets updated anyway. Now, uh, I am not sure why, but in Hardline, it, this, you know, this value seems to be a lot more intrusive, but I've heard a couple of times that in Hardline, the animation on screen is actually faster than the actual in-game bullet count update, so you know, they aren't synced yet. Uh, and this is quite annoying. I also heard that it was to better show the third-person reload animation, but maybe that's just not true, I don't really know. But the fact remains, in Hardline these things are annoying as hell and don't sync up, uh, you know, to what you're seeing. And in any FPS game, that's a fail, particularly in one that pretends to be competitive. Now, maybe it's broken. Uh, frankly, I don't see that uh, the numbers of the multipli multipliers are that much different uh, from Battlefield 4. But, you know, there I knew when I could swap guns and not swap back into an empty, empty gun after the reload animation. And here, for some reason, I get burned by the uh, reload threshold, or at least that's what I think it's the reload threshold, uh, nearly every time. You know, in Battlefield 4, I like to throw down a medkit after reloading and do it pretty much instantly, but uh, he, there, as I said, I knew about when I could do it. In Hardline, this usually breaks up my reload. Uh, some, you know, same goes with ADS animation. It seems like it takes an extra second or two after the, the reload animation is done that you can ADS in Hardline, and it's a great source of annoyance for me because I like to ADS nearly instantly. So, I think it's somehow broken or being reported wrong in Hardline, even if it is a feature of the Frostbite games. Uh, in fact, if it's a feature, it makes sense why DICE hasn't fixed it yet, or at least to our understanding of the game, because uh, they intended to, to work like that, and I still think it should be engineered out, but hey, what do I know, right? Uh, well, I've asked around on the Simtic forums, but, uh, you know, even they aren't sure what the reload threshold multiplier actually multiplies. Uh, does it multiply the short reload or the long reload time? Or does it choose one according to the situation? Uh, maybe that's what's broken in Hardline. And incidentally, uh, the threshold for the tactical reload or just yanking on the charging handle after you switched weapons and the bullet count has updated in Hardline may be a lot shorter if this multiplier isn't acting the way it should. So, uh, those are my ideas for the reload threshold uh, bug not actually being a bug. Uh, tell me what you think about it and thanks for watching. Please rate and share this video as it helps my channel grow. Check out my other videos at the end of this one. And remember, in Soviet Russia, YouTube subscribes you.